8091 meters yes that's the height of the mighty annapurna which is one of the biggest structures on earth on our entire planet how cool is that and i'm going to go till the annapurna base camp closest one can get to an 8000er without actually summiting the planning for this trip actually began in january 2020 Indu, a friend of mine, asked me if I wanted to trek Annapurna Base Camp, and me being me, can't say no to an adventure. We booked the trek for October 2020. In the meanwhile, obviously, COVID happened, lockdown, and all of that, and the trip got cancelled. Fast forward to March 2022, and we booked the trek again for October that year. I asked one of my school friends, Yash, if he wanted to come for the trek. He said yes. I asked two of my college friends, Prashant and Kaushik, and they said yes. There were many others, but all I got was rejection. and then one more person was supposed to join us through the trekking company then all these months passed with me working tirelessly on my fitness Oops. and a week before the trip this happened listen bum i'm down with viral won't be able to recover in time and this leaves me with the group that finally made it wait let me introduce ये जो लीड कर रहा है वो है प्रशांत अभी हर पांच मिनट में रुकने वाला है पर्सन विद द वर्स्ट फिटनेस इन द ग्रुप ये है यश अगर ट्रैकिंग के ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड की बात करूं तो आज तक इसने मैक्सिमम वन डे हाइक्स अटेम्प्ट करे और अब सीधा सात दिन का ट्रैक और ये है वेंकट वी मेट हिम ऑन द ट्रैक द फिटेस्ट इन द ग्रुप टू पुट दैट इन परस्पेक्टिव ये हमारे गाइड फॉर द ट्रैक यालजी शेरपा जी से भी ज्यादा फिट एंड ऑब्वियसली योर ट्रूली मी पूरे टाइम ये मोस्ट व्यूज मिल रहे हैं अन्नपूर्णा साउथ हिमचली और माचा पुचारे के This is where we started which is Nayapul at an elevation of 1160 meters. We will cover about 47 kilometers to reach our goal the Annapurna base camp at an elevation of 4130 meters. To put that in perspective hum over the 4 days itna altitude gain karenge that we can climb Burj Khalifa 3.5 times. Yes जितना प्रशांत इस समय थका हुआ है लगता है वो ट्रैक कंप्लीट करने वाला आई थिंक तो थोड़ा सा खुश करेंगे तो हालत लगी हुई है ही मेक्स इट। तो अभी तक हम विलेजेस के थ्रू हाइक करते हुए ही जा रहे हैं राइट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट इट इज पासिंग वन विलेज आफ्टर एन अदर और हम लकी थे कि हम यहाँ पर रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी को इतने पास से देख पाए लोगों से इंटरेक्ट कर पाए एंड नॉट टू मेंशन द ईयर टू ईयर स्माइल बाय बाय शांत कितने मजा आ रहा है लाइफ इज फुल ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन्स दिस पाथ रिप्रेजेंट्स माय लाइफ ओहो नॉट दिस वन ज्यादा डीप हो गया नॉट दिस वन कॉज दिस इज गोइंग डाउन ओहो आई एम द वन द वन योर सन डोंट नीड अ गन टू गिव मी रिस्पेक्ट अप ऑन द स्ट्रीट The bouncy bridge बना रखा है सर बिल्कुल ही ऊपर नीचे हो रहा है ये मोस्ट अनदर स्पेशलिटी ऑफ दिस ट्रैक द हैंगिंग ब्रिजेस पूरी ट्रिप में छोटे बड़े सब मिलाकर 6 7 क्रॉस करे होंगे and a couple of them were as long as 280 meters just thinking about it now is insane or on day 2 we were crossing over the modi river And we have finally reached the tea house for day two. 
One of the things that I absolutely loved about the tea houses on this trek was their common areas. They are so spacious, lively and have such a feel good vibe to them. And just when the boys were stretching, out of nowhere, a group of locals, Must Naachte Gaate, came to the tea house we were staying at. Every year, I mean, every year, coming to the dance in Nepal. So, this is a lot of fun. Three days, it's going to be a lot of dance on almost all the tea houses in the area. And then, when it's going to collect, they're going to use it. to make water pipes trails for this trek or in general village surroundings so that's really cool at this point we had trekked 25 kilometers from nayapur reaching the halfway mark we crossed gandrok on our way to the current location lower sinova this is at an elevation of 20 to 60 meters having gained about 1100 meters so far over the two days to so, abhi hum log yahan par hain hum yahan se aise jaane wale hain till derali that would be our stop for the day and while we were at upper sinova clicking a few photos we got ourselves this master here i come माचा पूछ रहे क्या व्यूज दे रहे हैं यार पहले वहां हमें क्लीन वेदर में सनलाइट में क्या व्यूज मिले और अब ये क्लाउड के साथ क्या ज्यादा मिस्टीरियस फील दे रहा है मजे आ गए आया अन्नपूर्णा के लिए लेकिन ऐसा लग रहा है माचा पूछ रहे का फैन बनता जा रहा हूं एंड एज फॉर इट्स नेम माचा मींस मछली एंड पुचारे मींस पूछ सो द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन फॉर माचा पूछ रहे इज मछली की पूछ और फिशेस टेल तो आज जहां से हमने स्टार्ट करा था और जहां हमें पहुंचना है ज्योराली इन दोनों के बीच में एक जगह आती है विच इज विच गोज बाय द नेम बम्बू एंड इट गॉट इट्स नेम बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट दिस प्लेस सो मेनी बैम्बू ट्रीज अलोंग द वे एंड दिस रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ द मील फॉर दैट डे ये इंटरेस्टिंगली अचार है बैम्बू का बना हुआ द फैक्ट दैट वो इतने सारे बैम्बूज यहां ग्रो कर रहे हैं दैट जस्ट मेक्स सेंस So given how much we were walking we needed meals with good portions too all these days we had dal bhat for lunch par har jagah dal aur sabji mein thoda difference tha this is cucumber this is some chutney i don't know about i think tomato chutney this is oh. potato and uh, tomato and like a variety of beans and something related to spinach and cabbage so no kafi healthy hai na hmm. one thing that is certain in all of these places khane ke prices kafi zyada hai more so prices increase ho rahe the for the same item as we go up if you want more details about the trek or the things that you should keep in mind then do watch this complete guide on annapurna base camp trek jo maine end mein link kar diya hai पोस्ट लॉन्च द फॉरेस्ट वॉज वे टू स्कूल अगर मैं अकेले क्रॉस कर रहा होता विद लेस लाइट और विजिबिलिटी नॉट गोन लाए थोड़ी लग तो जाती
We are on the home stretch for today. About 30, 45 minutes or lagging. This time, our four other misty mist kora hi kora hoga, and we barely have any visibility other than the trail. Yanling ji, ye Hinku Caves ki aap kahani bata rahe the wo kya? Okay, thank you. Good question. तो ये इनकी के पे पहले अनुपने बेस के में किया उस नहीं था उस टाइम ही ज़्यादा टूरिस्ट उन लोग के करके टीम में सो रहे हैं बट पोटर्स यूज़ टू स्लीप हेयर ईट हेयर जब इतने सारे टी हाउसेस नहीं थे एंड द ट्रेल वाज़न्ट लेड आउट एंड दिस वाज़न्ट एस कमर्शियल सो दैट वाज़ देर शेल्टर फॉर द नाइट Finally made it to the Orali after eight plus hours of trekking. I remember it was quite cold the Orali, but definitely peaceful too. What we didn't realize then that this was just the calm before the storm. And day four welcomes us with rain, rain, and rain. We have about 30-45 minutes for breakfast, and then we leave. Yeah, but abhi bhi kafi barish ho rahi hai. Maybe we'll wait until around nine. The barish hogegi, ab hum tabhi nikal payenge. So it's like we do not have any other option. Abhi barish chal rahi hai, but fir bhi hum nikalne wale hain. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make it to our next camp in time. So until Diwali, we had covered 39 kilometers. It would be another 4.5 kilometers till Macha Puchre Base Camp, and another 3.5 till Annapurna Base Camp, which is at a height of 4130 meters or 13550 feet. Which means the altitude gain would be at a whopping 1000 meters for one single day. And the rain, it definitely didn't make things easier. It has been raining, but that isn't really stopping anyone. Abhi bhi trail par log a ja rahe hain continuously. I suppose that's the beauty of trekking. For some reason, this added sense of adventure because of the water flowing throughout our path. Mere ko kuch zada hi mazey aa raha hai. In terms of my shoes getting wet, I am at a point of no return. अब कहीं भी अपने पैर रख सकते हो। That moment when nature makes you realize how insignificant you are in front of it. इस समय इतनी बारिश है। जो ऐसे रॉक्स टूट रूट कर रही हैं, दे आर आल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग द शेल्टर दैट वी नीड। दिस इज गेटिंग बियोंड द फ्लो ऑफ दिस वाटर इज टू वे टू मोर। Right now, he's straight out of the movie, weathering all of this. This is a lot of land slides here. There's a lot of land slides here. Just look at that. Because of the flow of the water, the rock part is different. And then the trees are still growing. Annapurna one right there, for which we've come here. Now we have Annapurna south, and this is Annapurna one. As hazy as it may be, this is our first look of it. Completely drenched in rain. Thakya, barish mein bhiya, aad number hai. This, this really became a tough experience. A tough experience from a good one.
According to the itinerary, we are supposed to camp at the Macho Puchare base camp, which seems to be this. Let's see if we are going to stay there or we'll make our way for the ABC. Really, we are at the Macho Puchare base camp. From top to bottom, absolutely numb. <laughs> Finally, in the hot room, and some respite. Barish sir. For a change, aaj baat ki jagah noodle soup lenge. Yahan par jisse ek cheez ki kamii nahi hai, wo hai thand. और बारिश पर फाइनली हम निकलने वाले हैं अन्नपूर्णा बेस कैंप के लिए विच इज गोइंग टू टेक अस अबाउट टू एंड हाफ थ्री आवर्स टाइम हो रहा है वन थर्टी विच शुड बी देर बाय फोर थर्टी होपफुल That's our first glimpse of the Annapurna base camp. वहाँ पर सारे tea houses we are surrounded by these majestic snow-capped peaks. Beautiful. There are some moments in life that define why you do what you do. What makes your heart beat? What makes you want to get out of your bed? What makes you keep moving forward? At 4130 meters, standing at the Annapurna base camp, I found one such moment. Stick around for two more minutes, and I will summarize what we have done so far while going down. On the summit day, we were drenched by the time we reached the camp. We changed and spent some peaceful time in the common area, eating and being in awe of the majestic peaks around us. By the next morning, rain had turned into snowfall, and it was surreal experiencing the all-white landscape. We had an early breakfast and made our way down to Bambu, covering around 17 kilometers. And due to the continuous shooting through the rain and low temperatures, my hand was swollen. For context, this is how my hand looks normally. Just look at it; like itna zada difference. Then Prashant's tight trekking shoes had finally resulted in a swollen toe, which he ended up nursing that night and limping the rest of the way through. Oh wait, I wasn't going to let him steal all my sympathy. So the very same day, I managed to sprain my already recovering ankle. and couldn't put any weight on it whatsoever it didn't get any better the next morning so i had two options either descend the rest of the way on a horseback or use bamboo sticks and my upper body strength to get through it no points for guessing what i chose we had porridge for breakfast which was the case for quite a few mornings today's goal was to reach jinu about 11 kilometers from bum there was cloud cover throughout but not much rain and the temperature was perfect for trekking we had lunch at chomrom Both Yash and Venkat were absolutely in love with the ginger lemon honey tea. And talk about the views!
Later in the day, the bridge gave absolute mystic feels. We checked in at the tea house at Jinu. It was well maintained and comfy. And that night, we celebrated what we had achieved, especially after the constant rain. The next morning, we gave our bodies the much needed respite in the Jinu hot springs. Believe me, it was worth it. And then we made our way back home. Well, this is my story from the Annapurna base camp trek, one that I'm going to cherish for long. If you want to see us on our adventures, then do subscribe. And if you're wondering how to plan this trek, then this ABC guide has everything you need to know. See you in the next video. Goodbye.